Hello everyone. A few months back, a Chinese scientist named Hu Junangi had announced that he was successfully edited the genes of twins named Lulu and Nana so that they won't get affected by HIV virus which causes AIDS. It is a major uh, news because uh, he used the CRISPR gene editing for achieving this and the uh, other thing is uh, it can prevent AIDS, a deadly disease which is currently not having any uh, medicine to cure. Okay, So everyone was talking about it few months back. Okay. Uh, but this news is about uh, a new research which was saying that uh, the similar uh, gene editing can improve the brain performance. Okay, uh, They did the search with mice uh, but they are saying that uh, uh, it can uh, impact the humans also. That's what uh, their research is saying. Okay, So according to their research we can understand that the brain performance of the girls Lulu and Nana might have improved uh, because of uh, the gene editing done by that uh, Chinese scientist. Okay, uh, It's a very important thing. One thing is uh, currently almost all the countries are uh, uh, restricting this kind of uh, research. So it is illegal uh, in almost all the countries including China. Uh, that's why the Chinese government put him under house arrest once after he made this uh, announcement publicly okay uh, even his uh, university fired him uh, and he is doing the research independently with his own lab uh, with the help of people who are volunteering uh, to him okay uh, so basically uh, this kind of research is uh, getting done without government support or uh, any public support uh, that was the understanding um, but uh, uh, we can understand the consequences of these uh, things. Say for example, if this kind of uh, stuff can improve the brain performance, uh, say for example, if someone uh, from China is doing this, uh, maybe in uh, near future the Chinese government can uh, adopt the technique so that they can create a lot of designer babies with a more uh, powerful brain and a more uh, athletic performance or uh, economic uh, kind of uh, knowledge. So it can uh, overall it can help the country to uh, dominate in the world. The other countries will also think about it and they will also uh, try to compete uh, uh, with more power so they will also encourage this kind of research in their own countries okay so this will make this kind of uh, research uh, uh, legal in near future even though they are illegal uh, right now uh, <clears throat> there is a huge possibility that uh, uh, most of the countries will make it as uh, legal uh, research okay it is a very very uh, major thing uh, because uh, if uh, this kind of research uh, are going uh, in this direction definitely it will create a lot of uh, um, negative things even the creator of the CRISPR is discouraging uh, or even asking to prevent this kind of uh, uh, research okay uh, this is one thing another thing is uh, we can see this as a powerful example uh, for showcasing the power of CRISPR gene editing. So if the CRISPR gene editing is getting used in the positive sense means definitely it will be uh, very useful for eradicating or uh, uh, removing a lot of diseases easily and we can improve the overall uh, human health uh, very easily. That's what uh, the uh, basic thing about CRISPR. Uh, if you are interested, you can just uh, search uh, this channel and uh, you can learn a lot of updates about CRISPR gene editing. Okay? Actually, gene editing is a very old thing. A lot of scientists are using it. But the thing is, uh, we need uh, yeah, infrastructure, uh, specific infrastructure and uh, we need skillful people for doing that. But the specific thing about uh, CRISPR gene editing is, uh, it will uh, make the process very simple and uh, any uh, almost anyone can easily uh, edit the gene that's the power of CRISPR gene editing it's something like editing the word document in future people are going to edit their genes that's what the fundamental of CRISPR gene editing okay so one news i'm referring all my previous uh, news videos uh, saying that uh, scientists unveiled crispr based diagnostic platform okay so crispr is part of uh, diagnostic thing 
And another uh, thing is, uh, some people tested the uh, <coughs> CRISPR gene editing uh, to cure cancer. Okay, so basically it is going to help uh, eradicate cancer. Okay. Mm. And uh, another research is saying that CRISPR helps to alleviate uh, depression. And another one is saying that uh, successfully lowers the cholesterol in mice. So basically, uh, it is uh, useful for uh, diagnostic purpose and uh, uh, it is useful to cure cancer and to reduce uh, depression and uh, to lower the cholesterol. Okay. Uh, even some scientists are uh, creating low fat pigs okay using crispr cas9 so basically we can uh, create the animals based on our own demands okay and uh, it is useful for repairing the faulty genes okay uh, that uh, because of all this growth uh, that uh, statistics is saying that uh, that uh, global crispr cas9 market will cross 1.5 billion us dollars by 2022 so a lot of uh, inventions and uh, marketing other uh, companies are going to grow uh, based on the CRISPR gene editing, okay? So even it is useful for uh, restoring the vision in blind animals, okay? Uh, apart from curing the diseases, one per scientist uh, is uh, uh, doing a research related to storing uh, data into DNF bacteria using CRISPR. According to his research, uh, we can store a movie into the DNA of bacteria, okay? It's uh, the main purpose is to not for storing the data uh, like movies, but uh, it can be used for a lot of new researches which can improve our uh, brain activities, okay, with that uh, help of CRISPR.